All right, thanks, Terry. Instead of preparing for the upcoming college football season, two Western Michigan University freshman players, Bryson White and Ron George, spending their Sunday morning in a Kalamazoo jail. And now the pair are facing home invasion charges, but more crimes could be added to that list. Last night, our Barton Dieter spoke to the victim, the woman who says she was robbed at gunpoint on Friday night. He has our story this morning. Never felt like more... I don't, I don't know at that point what I wanted to either be alive or dead. We're not identifying her, but this young woman was getting ready to start her freshman year. But after a frightening encounter with an armed robber, she says she will move back home and start again. Having moved to town only a week ago, she was looking to make friends and gave her cell phone number to a woman she only just met. Then Friday, she started getting texts from what she assumed was the woman and made plans to meet up here at the California West Apartments where she moved to be close to campus. The knock came at the door. Cracked the door about an inch and I seen sunglasses, bandanas and two men holding a gun and they, I tried to shut the door as quick as I could. Um, they forced themselves back in. That's when they threw me over my couch. They asked for my phone. They told me they were going to slit my throat if I didn't tell them where my money was. And um, they kept asking for drugs. A friend who was in the apartment hid in the closet and called police as the men searched the apartment. But soon she was forced into the bathroom by one of the men who hit her with a gun and then demanded she take her shirt off. And he was like, take off your shirt before I blow your brains out. She said the other robber told his accomplice to leave her alone, and that made her think. They ransacked the apartment as she hid in the bathroom. They then exited out a sliding glass door. As the two robbers left, a neighbor saw the fleeing men and took down a license number. When police showed up, she called the number that had been texting her previously. The voicemail that came up was like, hello, this is Bryson White's phone. It turned out that Bryson White had also been sending this woman suggestive messages on Twitter earlier in the week and sent her his address, which led police right to him, she said. Police would soon find 20-year-old Bryson White, a wide receiver from Ohio, and 18-year-old Ron George, a linebacker from Pennsylvania, on campus in a car where they say they also found money and weapons. Police would then execute a search warrant at Draper Hall, university officials confirmed. Let me put all these little things together and I, I, the police were there within probably the next hour. That was Barton Dieters reporting. Now we spoke to Kalamazoo Public Safety Director Jeff Hadley. He said the two should be arraigned either today or tomorrow. WMU football coach PJ Flex says both of the players have been suspended. He will hold a press conference tomorrow where he will address this incident.